Oh, I know I'm about to go on a wild ride for the explanation that I'm about to give. <laughs> but it's what I want to talk about, okay? I like to think of myself as being a fairly highly intelligent person. All right. And one of the ways that I've come to understand how you measure intelligence is by the ability to adapt. OK, the ability to change. Like that's all it is. Right. The quicker you can change over from maybe saying, oh, OK, you want to be identified as a he or oh, OK, like your ability to adapt to the situation literally speaks to your level of, of intelligence because it takes a certain amount of acceptance okay to be able to just run with something without being able to internalize what is happening not as a byproduct of your own feelings or emotions because feelings or emotions are very important when it comes to self-expression but when it comes to self-awareness and intelligence like there's a certain amount of being able to detach yourself from them while feeling them at the same time that speaks to a higher level of understanding, okay? And this has a lot to do with self-awareness. And so to me, like, as I move through space and encounter people, I'm thinking, I don't see you as a hater. I don't see you as somebody that absolutely hates me because if you didn't like me, you wouldn't be paying me any attention to begin with. So I really don't have to worry about haters because true haters aren't going to show up to my face. But somebody who does take the time to engage me with their self-hatred, because at this point, you love me enough to give me your attention. Like, you're giving me your attention. That's time off of your life force. That's love. Okay, but what you choose to share with me in that space speaks to your self-hatred. It literally speaks to your level of self-hatred because you're praising me for giving you something to hate. Okay. <laughs> and I understand that's you just trying to accept the change, that's you trying to understand what's happening in the situation and being frustrated about it, but you really begin to evolve when you are able to accept change without question, you know, be able to accept change and then not only accept it, but move within it and find your own truth in that change, right? Because yeah, you got this a certain amount of delusion or you have to be to accept the change as it's coming in. But if you can just wholeheartedly accept it, you'll watch it evolve into you becoming a bigger person, you know? And that expansion from becoming a bigger person speaks to the growing pains. Speaks to the growing pains. So when you can begin to ignore those growing pains, just like you do when you work out, right? It's like you work out and when you initially work out, yeah, you're in a lot of pain. But eventually you become comfortable and accept that as progress for change and you see your emotions as progress of change and where we choose to share that progress of change speaks to the emotional level that we're at so to me I feel like self-awareness has played a really big part in me being able to understand not only myself because in being able to understand myself and understand how unique I am and understand how progressive I am and understand how not everybody's going to accept that and I don't want them to because I don't accept everybody. It becomes a lot easier to move through the space. It becomes so much easier to move through the space and I think I've said this like over and over again and I love saying it like you really just got to release yourself from it. And in going through that solitude of being by yourself that I just recently came out of, you know, I was able to realize that in doing that, you, in being by yourself, you find out 
who you are. Like you find out what your strengths are. You find out what your weaknesses are. And so once you truly, fully can understand what your strengths and weaknesses are, when a situation is presented to you, you know how to use your skill set to understand it or to accept it first. And in accepting it, you will get understanding. To me, it, it's almost how my confidence manifests itself. Because to me, I'm thinking, well, once I get in the situation, if I don't like it, I know what to do to get out of it. And so, to me, that's the essence of, of courage. It's like not, it's not really an emotion. It's more, it becomes an emotion when you can't make sense of what's going on. See where intelligence comes into play? Anyways, just me on a rant outside doing my thing. I just wanted to share my thoughts. Drop down. Drop down in the comments and tell me what you think. Like, honestly, let's have a discussion. <laughs>